Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in the world and depending on when you get to see this post. So anyway, if there's anybody in this world who's my genuine Sparta, who wants to see me win, who wants to see me achieve, then I ask you, my Spartas, to put your best foot forward. Because, you know, sometimes when I think I think about these things, I think to myself, I'm just in my house, just an ordinary girl, just trying to live my life the best way that I know how. So, you know, you do your business just like anybody would do. And then, like yesterday, you hear, you, you just hear people. And I just think to myself, I'm in my house. I am in my house. I took a bath in my house. Why on earth should that be anybody's business? If not for the fact that you're a useless person watching me. If not for the fact that you're a useless person. Yeah, you are a useless, shameless person who has no remorse. Huh? At the end of the day, you're not even supposed to be watching me in the first place. So why should I be embarrassed? Hmm? That's the question that I was asking myself. Why should I be embarrassed? Hmm? I have made the decision not to be embarrassed because I am in my house. You are the people who are trespassing. This is a video, me recording myself. I record the video. I put it on the internet, yeah, for public consumption. Me wandering about this house, doing whatever I am doing in this house, none of your business. So you have decided you want to spy on me and then you feel that you can shame me after spying on me. It's not possible. It's just not possible. It's just not possible. This is the stage that I have reached in my life. I have decided that if you who is a trespasser, a useless stalker, trespasser, people who have no remorse, people who have no respect for their fellow human being. If you decide, as a matter of fact, when I just look at some people, I just say, some people are ingrates. Some people are ingrates. I just, I watch that man talking about me, talking about me. I know he's talking about me in my home. And I say to myself, I was just saying to myself, it's God that saves people. Yeah, it is God that saved him. It is God that saved his life. Because if I was the one that saved his life, I would want it back because he's a fucking ingrate. He's nothing but an ingrate. Yeah? Like most people anyway. Unfortunately, sometimes I have to make these sweeping statements. Some people, they only check for you when they have a problem, as soon as everything is rosy for them, they have forgotten about you. Let me say that it is God that saved his life. Yeah, because it is everything is God, not me. Because he's just a fucking ingrate. He's an ingrate. They're talking the way that they talk about me, the way that they talk about my life, things that I do in the privacy of my own house. Yeah? You wouldn't even think that I have done them any favors. As a matter of fact, the way that they even talk about me, you would not even think that we're supposed to be allies. That is why I say trust. The trust that I have in people is like a pinch of salt. When I'm dealing with them, I am dealing with them. But I know that the minutes I have left that arena, I know that they can do and they can say anything. Because unfortunately, that's just human nature. These people are ingrates. You would not believe that God saved that man's life through me. You wouldn't believe it. Eh? The way that these people were hiving in this neighborhood, you would think that I actually went outside to take my bath. All of the things that these bastards say, all of the things that these maggots do to me. Ever since I moved into this estate, those maggots, they never ever liked me. Not even for one day. Mm. Not even for one day, yeah? People will just see you, they take a disliking to you for whatever reason, yeah? 
the most surprising thing of all for me when I came to this country is that we could all look the same, but the hate, the hate, that is one of the things that knocked me off my shoes when I came to this country. The fact that black people like me would actually have that much hate for me, that knocked me for six years ago when I came into this country. Another thing that always surprises me because I don't have that in my nature. Another thing that always surprises me is when people just dislike you. They haven't heard your story. They don't know you, but they just dislike you. Normally they say that when that happens, it's more about them than it is about you. Because such people, there's nothing that you can do. These people, ever since I moved into this estate, they have been coming to that window. Mm. It's something that used to actually keep me in tears. That's the level. Sometimes you just, you're just talking about things that happen to you. Then some people who don't have anything like sympathy or empathy for their fellow human beings, they come and they make statements like, oh, you made yourself into a victim. Nobody makes themselves into victims. Something happens to you, you become victimized. I did not make myself into a victim. I chased this property from when I was living in a hostel. It became available. The opportunity came. I took the flat because I thought I was actually going to be happy here. I didn't know, obviously, that all of the things that happened here would eventually happen. They have been like that to me from the first moment I moved into this place. So you can't say, you can't say, oh, they knew your past. They didn't know anything about me, but they have been horrid, absolutely awful to me up until the extent now whereby I don't even answer them back because number one, I put all my faith in God. Number two, I know that there's still good people in this world. There are people in this world who are not bandwagonists. When I say bandwagonists, what do I mean? I'm talking about people who just jump on the bandwagon. We all know 10 of them. Something is happening. They hear about it. They just jump on it. They don't care about the history. They don't care about taking sides. They just, they're just bandwagonists. They just jump on the bandwagon. These people, they have always hated me since I moved into this place. They make it a point of action to just come to my window to torture me. They can do it 24 hours of the day. If they do not do it when they're in school, when they leave school, they'll come back. That is why I said, I have Spartans of all different ages. I don't have the time or the energy to be, to be exchanging words with them because number one, they could be my grandchildren. Though heaven forbid, heaven forbid that such evil children should enter my lineage. Heaven forbid that such obnoxious children should enter my bloodline. God forbid, I reject that bad children should enter my bloodline. But just to give you an example, but they don't care. Hmm? We now live in a world where children, just children, calling you bitch to your face. No fear, nothing whatsoever. I am not their parents. Those kind of children who could call somebody like me, who's old enough to be their grandmother, bitch, witch, dirty, whatever prostitute, whatever names came into their dirty, stinking mouths. Let me tell you, the, at the end of the day, that behavior is going to end up in their parents' house their parents or their relatives. Yes, if they can say it to an outsider on the street, they can say it in the house as well. At the end of the day, all of the obnoxious, wild, feral behavior that they exhibit in this estate, at the end of the day, is going to end up with their parents, the people who brought them into this world, the people who are their relatives, the people who are their family, all that behavior that they're displaying is going to end up with them. Some of them, I can tell you what they would be. Some of them, I can easily tell you what those kind of people would be five years from now, 10 years from now. 
not just me any of you you can look at them and say okay this one this one this one i know exactly how they're gonna end up yeah but for anybody who is my sparta my genuine sparta in this world i want you to treat their fuck up yeah i want you to treat them I want you to treat them in the language that they understand because I myself, I have decided not to engage with them. Yeah, I have, in, I have decided not to engage with them so that tomorrow, if any of them should die, they will not say that I had a hand in it. Yeah, so I have decided, those of you who are my spatters, please help me treat their fuck up. Those of you who are my Spartans, I know that I have so many Spartans in this world. I know that I have so many Spartans in this world. And my Spartans know me. I am not a troublesome person, but I am the kind of person who knows how to deal with trouble when it comes. Mm -hmm. Even Jehovah, Jehovah himself gave us the ability to protect ourselves. Because he knows that there are times where we will just have to protect ourselves just because of the nature of human beings and the nature of this world. Hmm? Loving God does not mean weakness. As a matter of fact, it means strength. Hmm? But I save my battles and my energies, yeah, my energy for battles that are worth fighting for. Like right about now, all those misogynists in America, they are finished because we are about to put the first black woman. Mm, we are about to put the very first black woman into the White House. It has happened already. Anybody that says that they are uncomfortable or they, they don't feel comfortable, or any of those words or metaphors that they decide to use with a woman being president, it is time for you to adjust, yeah? It is time for you to adjust that part of your brain that is uncomfortable with a woman in power. It's not just men. There are a lot of women who find who feel the same way. There are a lot of women who feel the same way. There are a lot of women who are not comfortable being ruled or governed or led by their fellow women. There are loads of them. So it's not just men. It's not a male issue. It's a human issue. If there's anybody who is feeling that they are uncomfortable or they are not comfortable with a, a female black woman as leader, that means you have a problem. It means you have a problem. Maybe you will look for somewhere else to go and live, somewhere that is not on earth. Hmm? Maybe you will go to another planet to live because this time around, you're going to be seeing women in leadership in every strata of life. Hmm? So if you're the kind of misogynist who is uncomfortable Seeing women in position of authority, in position of leadership, you have a problem. Hmm? You have a very big problem. You will have to find another planet to live on. Because right about now, women of all colors, sizes, shapes are taking up position of leadership. Eh? So if you are one of those misogynists who thinks that threatening me, making me feel bad, coming to my window, coming to my house, doing all kinds of things. If you think that it can stop me, there's nothing that can stop me. Hmm? I have decided to be an unstoppable woman. Hmm? I have decided to be an unstoppable woman. If I have to take my bath outside, I will take my bath outside. If I have to do poo outside, I will do poo outside. Whatever I have to do, I will do it to get the job done. Yeah? That is the kind of person that I am. As long as I do not offend my God, as long as I do not soil my hands, I will do what I have to do in order to get that job done. That is the kind of person that you are looking at, me. Hmm? So if you are one of those people who is uncomfortable with women in leadership, women, 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 however you want to pronounce it in leadership. You have a big problem, oh, you have a mighty problem. Hmm? 
you have a big problem. I'm talking to you misogynist. Hmm? You racialist, misogynist, whatever names that they want, whatever kind of prejudice that you have against women. Or maybe you have prejudice against black people. Eh? I don't know what kind of prejudice that you have. Hmm? You better decide that you want to vote for positive change. Eh? For individuals who will actually bring about change. Me, I support individuals. I have said this time without number. If I had a pound for every time I said it. I support individuals because I can just look at somebody and I will see the potential in them. I support individuals. Huh? I support individuals. I invest in individuals. Human beings, they are my capital because I invest in them. Because I see them, I see the, uh, the potential in them. And I say to myself, okay, this person is good at this. This person excels at this. This person is good with people etc etc we all have our strong points and we all have our weak points there's no perfect person in the world hmm? we are all just trying to do this thing right but anyway for those of you who are my spatters because i am slowly 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 getting to that point where i'm saying to myself i really don't even have the energy to fight with people i actually don't even have the energy to fight with people i actually don't most of the time, I actually don't have the energy to fight with people. I really don't. Hmm? Because sometimes you just feel weak within your body. So I am slowly, slowly getting to the point where I just say, I can tell when somebody just wants to start a fight with me. We all have this kind of people in our life. We all know people like this whereby, oh, they're having a bad day. What? They want to start a fight with you. You tell them good morning. Your good morning has turned into a fight. We all know people like this. But may I just say to myself, I don't have the energy. Huh? I really don't have the energy. As I'm getting older and older, I don't have the energy for so many things. So I just say to myself, ah, this person is an idiot. I, I can't even be bothered. Hmm? Because everything that is coming out of me is precious and it is valuable. Why should I spend, spend my precious breath talking to somebody who I know is an idiot, who is going to be an idiot probably for the rest of their days because they have chosen idiocy as their way of life. There are some people, you look at them, they're an idiot at 10 years old. You know at 20, they're still going to be idiots. Eh? You bump into them 20 years later, they're still idiots simply because they cannot change. Eh? The kind of people that they can pick a fight with their own reflection. We all know people like this. Huh? If, if I wasn't in my house, if I was somewhere outside, I would have said to myself, okay, you, you brought it on yourself. You were outside. Hmm? But I know that I'm in my house. I'm in my house just trying to do the needful and the necessary that every human being does. And these people, because they're, because they're, when they say junglists, they are the ones that are junglists because they're in London, but they still live as if they're in the jungle. They are in London, but they behave as if they're in the jungle. Huh? Why are you screaming? Hmm? Somebody does or did what any reasonable human being would do in their house, but you're in the streets screaming. They're screaming because they are stupid. They come from a generation of stupidity. The people who are responsible for them have refused to tell them the simple truth that they should respect. They should respect, they should have respect for their fellow human being. The people who brought them into this world have simply refused to tell them the truth. So at the end of the day, they are the ones who are going to deal with the repercussions. I have said my own. If you're my Sparta, thank you very much for supporting me. But me, I am tired of living in darkness. There is no way that I could continue to live in darkness for the rest of my days. It's just not possible. Huh? Just fumbling around the house in darkness because some people are some people are shameless, remorseless idiots. Eh? Because some people are just they simply have no shame or remorse in their life 
because of them, I should live my own life in darkness. I refuse. I have refused. Eh? So if you decide that you don't like what you're seeing, you know what you can do? I did not invite you. I did not invite you to be looking at me like that in the first place. So you can fuck off. You can fuck off. Yeah? If not that for the fact that I'm a child of God. Anytime I tell somebody, go to hell, I feel bad because hell is not a good place for any anybody. Hell is a terrible place. So when I tell people, go to hell, I feel bad. Yeah? I feel bad. If not, if not for the fact that I'm a child of God, that is what I would have said to them. But what I am saying is that any of my spartas in this world who want to avenge me for what they have been doing to me, feel free. Any of my spartas in this world who wants to avenge me for what these people have done to me, feel free, but don't kill them. Don't kill them. Hmm? Don't kill them. Eh? That is all I would say. You can avenge me, avenge me, but don't kill them. Because those obnoxious ones, those obnoxious ones, especially the ones who tend to lock down this community, especially when they're on their summer holidays, all of us, all of us are going to witness what they will become for their families. Don't worry. For those ones that continue to lock down this neighborhood, they feel like they're the only ones that are wild. Maybe they feel like we were never children. Eh? Maybe they feel like we were never children. They lock down this neighborhood. They show all kind of behavior in this neighborhood. When I walk past there, they call me all kind of names, all kind of names they call me. Those ones are going to be a menace to their parents. You can bet. You can bet any money. They are going to be a problem to their families. Those people, they are going to be a serious problem to their families. We, you can bet any money. We don't even need to bet because those of you who are the same age as me, we would have already witnessed those kind of families. Hmm? We would have already witnessed those kind of people. We would all have experience of those kind of people already. So don't worry. They are going to be a problem to their families. A very, very big problem to their families. Me, I've decided I'm not going to spar with them. They're useless. They're useless. They're useless. They're ignorant. They're just vile. They're vile. They're ugly. They're obnoxious. Why would I waste my time talking to them? I know the kind of people I talk to. I know the kind of people I talk to. I know the kind of people I am invested in. Those kind of people, their life is over already. Look at them. Just looking at them, you know that their life is finished already. Their life has finished before it has even started. We all know people like that. You just look at them, you say this one, their life don't finish already. Before it has even started, their life has finished. So, no problem. For those of you that support me, thank you very much for supporting me. Mm -hmm. When I have the energy, I will do better videos for you guys. And hopefully, well, we're all growing every day by his grace. But for, the, for these people who just go out of their way to make other people's life a menace, especially when the people have not wronged them, that is actually the worst. That's the worst. The worst thing is when people go out of their way to make your life a menace when you've been good to them. This is where our Christianity comes into faith. This is where the love of God, because it's not just about being a Christian. For me, it's about God and my relationship with God. This is where the love of God comes into play because he says, though, no matter what people do to you, don't treat them, you know, in the same way. Don't treat them with the same vein. Because so many of these people, I say to myself, you're up here, you're saying all of these things, but what about the thing that you're doing to me? You're still up here saying all these same old things that you have been saying for years, but what about the things that you have done to me? You have, you have not stopped doing it. 
You're still doing it. The thing that you have done to me, you're still doing it, but you're still here preaching this same old gospel that you have been preaching since time immemorial. Huh? That is why I actually put my hand up that day when I did that video on Instagram. I said, God, I am so tired of these people. I am so tired of these people. They say one thing with the right hand. They say another thing with the left hand. Huh? I'm so tired of them. Give me justice. Give me justice in the land of the living Jehovah. Do not put me to shame in my hope. Please, God, don't put me to shame in my hope. Hmm? Please, Jehovah, do not put me to shame in my hope. Please. Even if I could have five people in this world, five people in this world that I know these are the five people that I can rely on to the rest of my life, that is okay for me. I'm not the kind of person. I don't need to have the, uh, the whole multitude of friends. Yeah. Five people in the world who I know that I can rely on, ride or die, that is okay for me. Yeah. That is fine for me. Yeah. Not, not a situation where people are telling you, I love you, I love you, I love you. You love me so much. Why am I suffering? You love me so much, but why am I suffering? Hmm? To the extent that you love me, why am I suffering? Because when I say I love somebody, I can move heaven and earth for the person. I know myself very well. If I say I love somebody, I am ready to bring the sun out of the sky for that person. But people are telling me they love me, they love me. I am still here. Hmm? I am still here. I am still here. The whole world is still talking about me when I just go to do wee wee. Eh? But people love me so much. Eh? My own love is practical love, love in motion. I love somebody, the person is suffering. Oh, how can I alleviate the person's suffering? Eh? I love somebody, the person no get food. Okay, how can I give the person some food to eat? Eh? Love, practical love. But people have been telling me that they love me for years. But I'm still here. I am not experiencing their love. Hmm? Let them love me in a way that actually changes my life. Let them love me in a way that when people are disturbing me in Kilburn, I can move to somebody somewhere else. Let them love me in a way whereby if they are troubling me here, I can actually come to your place and say, okay, can I actually rest my head and get a break here? Eh? What is this love that people are loving me, but I'm still suffering like this? Please make it clear to me because I don't understand. Somebody should really make this thing clear to me because I don't understand. Because it's actually getting to the point where I will not even be talking to anybody anymore because I'm actually really, really fed up. I'm fed up of being the kind of person who continuously wants to do the right thing, but people are not supporting me practically for me to be able to do the right thing. In order for me to be able to do the right thing, I need to be able to function as a human being. If I cannot function as a human being, how am I expected to do the right thing? How am I expected to be progressive? How am I expected to lift other people up if I cannot do the right thing for myself? 